Let's start designing an LED driver. If the input source is DC, then the driver is relatively simple because it does not need power factor, total harmonic distortion and it does not need to comply to other standards. We just need to know the input and output specifications to decide the topology, whether it is buck, boost or sepic. For example, if the input source is a battery, 6 volts battery, and if it is driving 3 LEDs at 350 milliampere each, the forward voltage drop of each LED being 3.3 volts. So now as we see, the output voltage is 10 volts. So as such, we need a boost topology. We need to set up the boost converter so that it regulates constant current across the LED string. For that, we introduce a sensor resistor and we try to regulate the voltage across the sensor resistor. This error amplifier will try to dictate the control law so that the PWM is changed so that it tries to regulate the voltage across the sensor resistor and forcing a constant current in the LED string. If the input source is AC, then the driver is relatively complex as compared to its DC-DC counterpart. This is because it needs to accomplish power factor and also it needs to comply to other standards such as EMI, EMC and surge. The topology can be either isolated or non-isolated. Isolated topology, flatback is a very popular choice, whereas for non-isolated topology, buck or buck boost to inverting buck boost topology is what is generally used. As we increase the wattage, then the driver ultimately becomes a two-stage driver or a three-stage driver. For two-stage, the first stage can be a PFC boost and the second stage can be either a flatback or if the wattage increases, it can be LLC half bridge resident. Let's have a look at the bug driver. In the bug, normally we have a high side switch. Here we have moved the switch from high side to low side and the LEDs are connected across the output capacitor. This forms the bug driver. Let's have a look at the inverting bug boost topology. The inverting bug boost topology creates a positive and a negative voltage opposite and the LEDs are connected LED plus and LED minus. Let us have a look at the flyback driver which is by far the most popular choice in LED drivers in isolated applications. In a flyback driver for the power stage we have the primary inductance, we have the MOSFET and we have the controller which is controlling the duty cycle of the MOSFET. The primary peak current information is sensed by the sensor resistor. At the secondary side, we have the rectifying diode and the output bulk cap. LEDs are connected as load across this output bulk cap. There has to be some information coming from the secondary side which is reflected to the primary side so that the controller controls the duty cycle.